Right, well, quite an exciting day. This is the start of my four hour journey to get down to see Wonder. And uh, what I'm lugging here is about 20 kilograms of fiberglass, a uh, mat, um, 600 GSM triaxial to be exact. Uh, now, this is not an easy location that we've got that we're living in at the moment to get deliveries in and out, so it's a little bit of an arduous trek, but anyway, here we are. Okay, so all set. So what you can see here is everything you need to repair a keel. What we've got here is 30 kilograms of uh, wear system. It's probably about 30 square meters of cloth. Okay, so I'm ready to start my four hour journey. I've hired this van. Um, weather is crap as per usual. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I finally made it down to the shed and uh, Here's Wanda, right where I left her last. Good to see her again. Um, so what I want to do this time, what I don't want to do, is start uh, getting distracted and picking up bits and pieces and starting to think about other problems, which is always what happens to me, particularly if it's been a while. So today I'm just going to get straight into it and go right back to those seacocks where I finished last, up last time and uh, complete the job. So let's take a look. Right, so just to go back, um, the part we missed out on last time was uh, because the GoPro camera went to freeze frame. Um, so I put some hot glue on the through holes. I put it in through the opening and stuck it down so it was nice and perpendicular. Then uh, I went into the, the boat and I had thickened epoxy in the back of these backing plates. Um, I then put this over the through hole and I used the nut that comes with these uh, to tighten it up. So basically what this did was as this tightened up, it squeezed the thickened epoxy against the shell um, and gave me a really nice, perfectly perpendicular uh, setting. So this is better down nice and evenly and isn't at an angle. Um, so that's really good. I'm really uh, happy with this part. So uh, this, is, this, is, this is centered nicely. It's, it's perpendicular. So now what I want to do is go in, put the flange on, and then drill through this those three um, uh, screws to basically go through the hull as well uh, and secure them. So let's let's go and do that. Okay, so here we are inside, and I've just uh, put some tape on the through hole to stop it from dropping down. That's not going to stop it from dropping down. Yeah, how am I going to do this? Okay, this is a game where we play up and down the ladder. So that should be secure there. Let's go up the ladder. Back into the cockpit. Ah, oh, for f sake. Okay, so I've got this block here to help me get a nice perpendicular uh, hole through. Right, let me try it from the other side now. Right, 
Right, I'm just doing a dry fit here. And I can tell by the, um, the amount of thread that's come through that, um, yeah, it's closer on this side than it is here. There's probably a large gap because you can see there's a real curve here and then this has to try and flatten it out. But there it is. Uh, looks good, real good. And that's without the through hole threaded in. So all the strength at the moment is just from these three um, bolts. And yeah, that feels really good, really solid. Let's take a look from the other side. There we go. Okay, so we'll just uh, line this up and mark out where these three screws are meant to go. One, two. I've got this block here which is just a piece of a roco um, which helps me get more or less a, a 90 degree angle not much space in here yeah one thing else might be worth showing you is um, when I put these in now I just create a little bit of a collar around this um, just with some plastic maybe get like half a mil or a mil there so when I push this in it's actually completely in the center there's no chance for it to get off center because if it becomes off center um, and you're trying to put it back into the flange it's going to rub against the side and that's not great so um, yeah I've just been doing this for the last couple and it's made it a lot easier it's quite a good um, little tip okay so there we have uh, the other side, I've got uh, my three lovely big holes there, so um, four holes in the boat instead of one. I think somebody made a comment about why do four holes uh, that you don't need, but uh, yeah, this is the way I'm doing it. Okay, next step, um, I'm going to countersink it from the inside, so there's a place for the sealant together, and then I'm going to start to wash it out to get ready to um, epoxy in the, the screws. Okay, there's just a little bit of a countersunk here, um, so I can get some sealant or something in here. Okay, so now here we are inside. What I want to do is um, put a bit of a spacer here so that things don't get too uh, locked down, but at the same time I can make sure that it's going to sit over these threads. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, that seems to be okay. So I'm going to pull this um, thread up so it's nice and tight and flush. Got one more here as well. Okay, I don't want it on so tight that it squeezes all the stuff out. So let's have a look from the other side. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Okay. Okay, so this is the drain that's at the bottom of the um, bilge and there's a lot of black muck around the perimeter that's sort of just penetrated into the laminate. 
Um, I want to get ready to laminate this to do the bottom here and so I want to block this up so that we've got a flat surface to laminate over. Um, but before I do that I, I just want to cut around and enlarge this to get rid of all this crap here um, and then I can uh, fill this up, we can re-laminate it, sandwich it and then I can work out if I want to put the plug back here again or if I want to leave it without a plug, I'm not sure yet. So uh, yeah let's see. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That's quite white. Uh, whereas this was quite black because the diesel had sort of penetrated this muck here. So I think this is good. This will make <coughs> a better connection, a better bond. Good. Okay, there's a bit of a ridge around here because the, um, the plug uh, fitting is, is recessed. So let me just get rid of this. Uh, it was done about 14 hours ago, so let's have a look, make sure that nothing is stuck on, good. Ay, ay, ay. Cool. Great. Right, when I come back, I'm just going to get some um, runny epoxy and let it drip down here and try and uh, seal it up from the back side but uh, yeah that's great perfectly aligned and centered no problems getting the through hole uh, through just put those back so I don't lose anything uh, so that one's good now this one um, because it's a little bit thicker here, these screws weren't quite long enough, so I need to go and order the next size up so that they protrude a bit further. Got the galley here. Yep, that's good. Lovely. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but right down the bottom there is the uh, the plug which I um, filled up and what I've done is put a backing plate on the other side and on this side I kind of skimmed it round so it's got a nice round contour down the bottom um, and then this top one here I had a backing plate on this side it's sort of protruded a bit but that's fine I can easily reach this with a sander so I can take it back so that's looking good I've just taken the block off here and uh, uh, this is good it's a little bit proud but it can sound this back and uh, maybe just put some lighter fairing in to smooth it out but this, this is really solid um, so that it'll create a good base to laminate over here <laughs> okay well that's it for my update for this week um, it was a quick one but um, nonetheless it was quite productive so basically got all my seacocks in now there's two that I need to come back with some longer uh, threaded uh, screws to go through the hull because the, the hull is a little bit thicker in a couple of parts up where the heads are that's one of them and this port side um, cockpit drain it's a little bit thicker and when it comes around the curve the I think the one and a half inches weren't quite long enough so anyway that's no problem I'll come back with those next time um, and then basically next time I'm going to come back in two weeks I'm going to work with Rob uh, all of that material I've got is basically to laminate the bottom of the hull so um, as you can probably work out I'm just focusing now on the hull so seacocks through holes um, getting this laminated, getting that skeg repaired and then that's the hull done. One more step is I need to get it copper coated um, and then I can focus on the top sides which is just all I need to do is put some clear plastic um, covers over all the windows and hatches and everything to seal it up and then I've got a watertight boat which means I can take it outside of the shed uh, which will be great uh, and even a little bit closer to home so that um, I won't have to travel four hours to, to visit and work on Wanda and that should make life a lot more productive I should get back into the project. Uh, so thanks for watching, thank you for uh, all your comments and well wishes and uh, welcome me back. Sorry that um, I sort of disappeared for such a long time, I kept on wanting to, to log in and just reply and let people know what was going on because uh, 
yeah, I hate it when I watch a channel when suddenly the guy just stops halfway through the project and you're left like wanting to know what happened. So yeah, sorry to do that to you, but I just, I couldn't. For some reason, I just, I, I couldn't face this. Um, this was kind of like stressing me out. And this is thing at the back of my mind that, I, that Wanda was wasting away. And then, you know, people were asking me how I was doing and I was trying to log in to reply and it, it just, um, yeah, I just needed a break from it. So anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for all your comments. And uh, I'll see you in two weeks time. Next major step is to laminate the bottom of the bilge at the keel. Okay, see you then.